All right, I'm so excited to see you today. This ukulele tutorial video will help kids who are beginners learn to play their first songs on the instrument. This is video four out of five in our series here. The video that you'll see is taken from a virtual class where I taught kids between five and eight years old to learn the basics of ukulele. Now I do have plans to redo this whole series just for you on YouTube, so consider subscribing if you would like to know when that comes out. All right, everybody, it's time for class number four. This one, we started to use more of the things that we learned in the past into some new songs. And at the end, we're gonna learn a new chord, uh, E minor. First of all, we learned a piece of rock and roll music called Smoke on the Water. It sounds like this. I like to bob my head or like stomp my foot when I play it. So, but how do we do that? So this is all played on one string. I only need one string. In it. And you notice I'm not strumming chords like I did before. I'm just playing one string at a time. So what I first need is my zero fret, which I play like this. Then the third fret. Then the fifth fret. And so far, I've been doing this whole thing with my first finger. Later on, you know, if you study ukulele, we'll learn how to use more fingers. But right now, you can do it all with your first finger. So, so far we've got this. Six, five. I'm just sliding back and forth there. Da -da. Then. I'm keeping my thumb on the back of the neck so that I can press hard enough, I can squeeze, and I can get all those notes working. Otherwise, if my finger is flat, or my thumb isn't there, I'm not gonna be able to press hard enough. So the curved finger, thumb on the back of the neck. Then it repeats. And what I'll do now, I'm gonna put this on pause, and I'm gonna put up the paper on my screen so that you can see what this looks like in music. And you can even pause it here when you see that paper and give it a try. Okay, let's move on to the next item here. We learned a really good sing-along called Country Roads Take Me Home. It's got chords you already know, that's why I picked it. And it's actually the same as the song, the chords are the same chords in the same order as another song we did. And if you wanna to try to sing it, I'll show you how to do that. So the chords go like this. Uh, first is a C, four times. We'll do a G6. A minor, and an F, mm -hmm. and the words go like this, and I'll sing your notes, it's a little high for me, but I can do it. One, two, three. Country roads take me home to the place. You'll see that the, the order of the chords changes a little bit towards the very end. So this is the point where it's useful for you to be able to read chords on a page. So I'm about to show you that, and just like before, you can pause the video if you want and work on uh, this song, Country Roads. So we've got the chords lining up with the words, and we'll strum uh, one time when we see the chord. Strum, 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 strum. Each of these means a strum too. Uh, since you just learned G6, unless you know like the G with three fingers, just use the G6 for this, even though it just says G. One, two, three, four, A minor. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and pause here and give this thing a try. All right, friends. So those are the two things we did for the beginners. Now it's time to do the more advanced stuff. We learned a new chord and we're putting it into a song. We're actually playing Count on Me. Uh, from Bruno Mars, but we're going to play more of the song, not just that little piece we learned. So what we've got to learn is a chord called the E minor. The way we play it is we start off with our C chord, 
But instead of using this finger like usual, we'll use this one. And we slide down to the second fret. We need one more finger before we have the chord. The next finger is the third string. I'm using my ring finger here, the one next to my pinky, on the fourth fret. And I'm trying to make a bridge there so that I'm not touching that one string. I don't want to go like that because then I won't hear that string. So I'm like this, I'm making a bridge, and I'm going to play one at a time. It's good to play one at a time because then you, you'll know if, if this finger is too flat, you'll know it's like, oh, not working. That chord is called E minor. Really fun to go back and forth between C and E minor. So let's do that a few times to get ready for the song. We'll do four C's. And again, I'm playing it with my first finger. Sometimes we'll use different fingers to make the, the same chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Might take a little practice. If this is a big stretch for you, uh, keep this finger close to the wire and this finger also close instead of like that because that's harder than it has to be. Yeah, and it'll take a little practice, but you'll get it. Now, if we look at the song, which is the last thing we'll do in this video here. All right, so I'm going to show you some real, a real chord chart, uh, but this is something that you'll see if you just look up a song on your own. So I want you guys to, um, to get used to this. So we're going to do each chord four times. We'll do a C, one, two, three, four. E minor, one, two, three, four. A minor, one, two, three, four. And we're actually gonna skip this one for now, and we'll do an F four times. So that's gonna look like this. C, one, two, three, four. E minor, one, two, three, four. A minor, one, two, three. Skip that G, go to the F. Find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea. I'll sail the world to find you. And then the next line is the same, so we're in luck. So that's called the verse. It's the um, it's the part where the words begin. Usually, the singer starts singing. So guys, uh, sort of a longer class today. You know, we did a lot of stuff, uh, but you guys are awesome, and I uh, hope to see you next week. And if you have questions, let me know. Yes, great job to you. Well done. And remember, there will be more videos like this that will look a little bit fancier. Uh, so stay tuned for those by clicking subscribe. Uh, more videos for kids on ukulele, guitar, and other instruments. Uh, my name is Ben Brill. So nice to meet you. I'll see you next time.